Hello and welcome to this little video in which we will be seeing how we can do to have a completely free necrotic in a cloud provider. This is particularly useful because we can use it for tests to study, but we can also use it for our work to centralize the administration of other mycotic equipment through this equipment in the cloud. For this team to be completely free, we will be taking advantage of the always free the Oracle cloud layer. Each concludes a cloud provider like other hippie southern Amazonas art, but the particular time with which it offers us certain services free of charge forever. We can see this here on the Oracle page itself now, kernel com slash cloud free where we can see what these free elements are here. When we create an account in Oracle Cloud, we first have that. 30-day trial where they give us $300 credit to approve Oracle resources. They may not use them directly or they can use and play with them, but keep in mind that it is a 30-day trial. When the 30 days are up, the only thing that we are going to be able to use the always free cloud services resources without paying and if we come down here we are going to see what those free services are forever. The ones that interest us in particular are these. We can create two virtual machines, two AMD type instances with 1 GB of RAM and 1 to 8 virtual CPUs. We are also going to have enough storage in case you want to save logs in your micro tick and we have enough storage in object type storage that is buckets. We also have 1 to 4 AR and type virtual machines. Depending on how they set them up, if they just create one with all the EPS and all. The RAM memory, which in this case is 24 gigabytes of RAM that they can use, can only create one virtual machine. But if they divide, for example these 24 gigabytes into 4 ohms, they can have up to 4 virtual machines. From type RNA Amper to 1, completely free forever. But for the Microtic we need these AMD type 1s. Creating an account in Oracle Cloud is extremely simple. They only need an email and a credit card. Do not worry that if you do not use anything outside of Always Free, that credit card will not have any charge. In this video we are not going to see how to create it because it is extremely simple. They just put signing and say they want to create a new account. In a matter of 10 minutes, they already have the account. Fully operational once you log into your new account, if you already have it, if it is a new account, you will see that up here it tells you that we are in the 30 day free trial period and you will see how much balance you have remained. I really didn't use a dollar on all of these. Because you only use the services of the always free layer, so those dollars are not consumed here. So to create a necrotic using the Oracle Alpha layer, the first thing we have to do is go to instances. Here as you can see I don't have any and what we are going to need is a micro tick image. Oracle doesn't have a default image that we can take from the cloud service, so we have to create our own image. From Microtic and we do this here with Gaston image and here is a very important note to take into account and pay attention we can only create the image during the initial 30 days of our account. After those 30 days we cannot create it for free, but what we can do is continue using the one we create for the first 30 days forever without any additional cost. That is if it is created in the account and 30 days pass, they will not be able to create their tasks and more than micro tick to use it to create the instances. But if they use the service before the first 30 days and create the cast image, they can continue using it in the future at no cost. That is the only very important thing to keep in mind. In order to create our MicroTik image we need to download it from the MicroTik Microsoft com slash download page. The image of CHR Clustal Rotate. The VEC type, that is the vinyl record type. We are going to download the latest stable one which is 706H. It is really light. It only weighs 32 megabytes. In a matter of seconds it is downloaded and they should unzip. 
This will download a zip file. They were going to find the CHR files, script 7, BMK 6 points. With this downloaded image we return to Oracle and we are going to go to the buckets. We go to the menu up here. On the left we go to storage. And we go here where they say Bates, if it doesn't come out, you can write it up here. They can put Baker. And they go to the service. As you can see, I don't have any ship, so I'm going to create. We put a name on it. We are going to put a micro tick on it. And a medium 7.6. So we know what it is and what version. Then we're going to stop standard type and everything else. We leave it by default and we click on create. Once we have it, we access it. We were going to upload this little file that we downloaded from the Microtech page. Let's see down here and click on upload. We leave this all as it comes by default and we are going to drag here or two. Search for the file by clicking on select files. We go to where we have the file and select it with double click and click on upload. This will start the process of uploading the file to basketball, which shouldn't take long. We can see the progress of the load here. Once the file finishes loading us it indicates that it is finished here with finish and we click close. Now that we have the image of the necrotic load our basketball, we return to the instances menu and now we can go to the image to the cast in image menu. We click here and we are going to click on import image. Let's give it a name, micro tick. CCHR script. Hyphen 7.6. The operating system is Linux. Let's put the amount of a Rajivac object. What did we just use a moment ago? We are going to look for the bucket that the only one I have is this micro tech 76. And here we look for the VMDK that we uploaded. We leave the image type in BMK and everything else by default and click on import. This will trigger a cast creation process. I imagine that it will take time. Here we will be able to track. The status will change from accepting processing and here we will see the percentage of completion. Here it already tells us that it is in process and we simply have to wait for it to say 100 and for it to turn green here. Once the process of creating the image is finished, we will see here that it indicates shock set and 100% complete. With which we now have everything we need to create our micro tech instance. We go back to the instances menu. And now here we can click create instance. Let's give it a creative name, for example micro tech. Then we go to. Look at this section of imagine we were going to click on edit. Here we are going to select a shape that is the type of instance in the event that they do not have the standard MMM selected and to click on change IP and look here in AMD. Also make sure to have the always free eligible checked here and in these conditions to Louise friend to only have it to select. But note that if you do that here it does not say 3, it always feels the same. So we are going to click here especially you. in previous generations. And here, yes, notice that the always freestyle appears the same. And see that it is the only one after we have many, but none says always free. We mark this and click on select. Now if we click here on change image because by default to search install one hour with Linux and here we go to search. Our guest and image will only appear one because it is the one we believe or unless another one has already been created previously. We click on select image. And now we are with the type of instance in the image. Make sure it is very important that it says always free, elite cheer and that it is of the AMD type. Then we go down here and in the networking menu. Notice that we don't have anything marked either in the virtual cloud network or in the subnet, so that means we don't have any. We need a virtual cloud network to be able to. Will it position an instance? Oh, we click on edit and since we don't have anything we don't have any pre-existing ones. We click here on create new virtual cloud network. You can change the name to leave the next one the same with the Seder and in the public health for address section we will leave it assigned. 
selecting the option to assign public IP address. This is going to be that the Macrotic assigns us a public IP address so that we can access it and work on it later. Down here in the Chavez section is a we are going to put now ASHX because we do not need them. And this part of football and we leave it as it is. So we are going to review placement. We leave everything as it is, the name and the compartment. This is the only one that I have image and form of the instance, the image we created and the type of instance. A standard MDBM21 always free Eli Tribal, micro and networking everything we just created without Chavez CH and the boot volume by default and click create. This will trigger the instance creation process where it says provisioning. Here we have to wait a few minutes for it to finish. Automatically, once it's finished in the instance, it's going to be turned on and we're going to have to do a little tuning before we can access it for the first time. Once the process ends, it indicates that it is running with a nice green color. What we have to do to be able to access this micro tick is change. The security options of the subnet. So we come here to primary virtual NIC. We were going to click on the subnet. Once positioned within the subnet, we are going to find its security list that we only have one. We are going to click here and here we see the access is allowed. By default it only allows port 22 from any source and allows ICMP from any source. What we are going to do is delete these rules and allow all access since. We are going to be working on security internally in the necrotic, so we are going to click here in English Rules Insider. We are going to put everything. The type of protocol we put all of them, and if they want they can put a description and we add this rule. Once added, it is in the other three. They are no longer useful to us because we are opening everything with the ladder. We mark them and remove them. Now yes, we can go back to the instance. We go to the instances menu. And we are going to see here in running mode always free our instance of micro tick and here we can see the public IP address. With this change that we made in the security options, we are now going to be able to access the computer. We are going to copy this IP address and we are going to open a Win proxy access. We paste the IP address. The default login of any necrotic router, new admin and without password. With only these data I will be able to access. In the first access it will ask us to change the old password, we leave it empty and in the new one we put something of what they want. It does not matter. And voila, we have just accessed our micro tick for the first time on Microtic. That does not cost us any money to have it running. In the cloud provider of the hour now we can leave the video up to here and say ready. We already raised the Microtech in Oracle and we are not going to pay anything for it. However it is important to give security to this Microtech. It is a microtech by default without any rules that can be accessed over the internet in an unrestricted way, with which we are going to add a bit of security to this microtech so that they can work safely. The first thing we are going to do is create a different user. To the default user admin, we are going to add a new user. For example my name we are going to give it full access and a good password, not admin admin. Immediately develop created. Let's log out and log in with the new user. Charged, despite the fact that they do remain in the Louise Fresh layer, they will never see a single penny of spending. They can create a bad of valley. It will help them, it will give them security. So that. What if they got the instance type wrong or created some wrong resource that wasn't included in the layer? Louise Free will receive an alert that there is consumption. Let's give it a simple name. My budget. You can't have spaces, so we put it all together in the compartment. We only have one. In my case, if you have more, select the one you need, the day of the month you want this to restart and then. Budget that they want to allocate for example $2 does not matter. Actual we are going to leave it here at all Hammond. And here we are going to put a free soul of a dollar, then here with an email address, the message they want to receive and they give create and with that they will have the bachelor in the event that they want to have it. 
Of course it is not mandatory for them to receive an alert by email in the event that they have made a mistake and have been using resources that were not in the free tier. Remember that in the first 30 days you have $300 and then. If they use resources that are not in the always free layer, they will be consuming but to have them necrotic. Cloud for free. This that we live, is the only thing they need and they will not see any type of expense. I have another in another account several months ago and so far I have not spent a single penny. Lastly, to close, as you surely realized, we are working with a CHR team, yes, yes. Let's go to system license. We are going to see that we are in the free and the free tier of the HR teams restricted the bandwidth of the interfaces. With which it can be a nuisance. So what we are going to do is for those who do not have a Microsoft account to create it. It is extremely simple and what we are going to do is the following. Look here you all see HX. I have one since. This type of trial that I have assigned to another team and what we are going to do is the following. In the team that we created we are going to click on Renault and Sans and here we are going to put the account data and word pass. With which the account was created here. In the case it is services. .microtickethotmail.com And the password. And here we leave it in P1. We click on start. This will be connected to our account VAT to apply a license at no cost. Although it is said T1. With the Eddy system and you can crack it here. Refresh it. Just click on refresh and let's see another license here. Are they trialed? But when the expiration date arrives, if you want, send me a little message and tell me what you see. And in this way they already have a free necrotic without the restriction of bandwidth due to the free license of the fully operational CR. I hope that this alternative of having a Microtech cloud for free forever has been of interest to you. The truth is that when they told me, I really liked it and I hope it will be as useful for you as it was for me. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel like comment and you are also invited to join our community on Telegram. In the description of this video you will find the link and in this community you will find a lot of information and a lot of activity. We are many, many people. Gathered in a small group only talking about microtech, so if we work our teams in their day to day they will find it extremely useful. Thank you all very much and until next time.